So this is from one of the, this guy now, Curtis Media, um, a very controversial figure in this entire thing. Um, see people who hate this guy and people who like this guy. Um, but however you look at it, the rules are a little bit different in the United Kingdom, and he has been gagged. Uh, he cannot speak of, about this case, period. He is even banned from this area. He was going around, you know, whether you want to call it investigating or harassment, you know, that's that's been, basically been what's been up for debate online. Uh, have at it in the chat, whatever you whatever you think on that. Um, I don't know this guy really at all. Um, digging into this, I've looked through a few of his videos. This one I did find interesting, though. This is right in the area, you know, the, here's the bench. This is right where they said that she would have fallen in and potentially, potentially drowned. But this is also the guy who um, filmed them actually finding the body. This is the guy that the mainstream media has labeled a ghoul, if you will. TikToker, they keep calling this guy TikToker, the YouTube guy, Curtis Media. I guess he probably has TikTok too. Arrested for filming a uh, bully being pulled out of the river breaks his silence. A wannabe TikTok sleuth arrested for filming Nic Nicola bully, Bully's body being dredged from a river has broken his silence curtis arnold 34 was arrested on suspicion of malice communication offenses and perverting the course of justice in connection to the connection for the missing mom of two wow interesting wording there um again i know i've seen all some people you know say that you know he has freedom of speech that, that, that's true in a sense, but it's also not at all in the UK. The laws are completely different, and they can actually shut this motherfucker up, um, which they did. I mean, he's not talking any anything. He's not saying anything. He's making videos now about other crime or, or you know, being smart of the way he does post. Um, see, Arnold of Kinder Minister is taken to social media to claim... He committed no crime announced. The police announced the arrest, but didn't name him. He said he had been, he'd been bailed until June and that his bail conditions included not sharing any online content about the case or discussing it publicly. Literally barred from entering that area. A barber by trade. Uh, he captioned his last video on his YouTube channel. My arrest over Lincolnshire police prove their point and banned me. Um, from Lincolnshire and from uploading or speaking about the case in it. He said, even though I am talking about my case and my arrest over a video, I have got to be very careful that I don't have, that I don't talk about the case. N Nicola, uh, Nicola w went missing in late January. Uh, when walking her dog, police quickly launched a desperate manhunt, but yeah, they have taken, this guy was a barber, right? Yeah had some vandals come after his barbershop. Um, our priority is and has always been to support Nicholas family and the wider community of St. Michael's. We hope this arrest provides reassurance that we take concerns seriously and will act on them. Arnold has claimed officers were heavily hand heavy handed with him when they arrested him at 1:30 AM at his grandparents' house. He complained. I still have marks on my hands now from the handcuffs. That's how tight they put them on. Uh, my Nan is now a nervous wreck. She hasn't been sleeping over it. There was no need to arrest like that. They have just, um, they could have just knocked on the door. And of course that's them sending a message, right? And we're not, we're not, that's nothing new. Um, they could have even just phoned me and I would have gone in for a voluntary interview. No problem. Many viewers reacted with horror and disgust to Arnold's footage of the body being recovered. But amid his rant, he claimed he didn't post the video to cause, cause harm or stress. Um, he went on to add no crime has been committed here. He claimed, I think everybody is aware why the police have done this to me. They have basically made it so that I can't go there and I can't do videos on the case anymore. What the, what the locals want and what they got. I'm on bail for three months and that's just the way it is. Social media users descend on the sleepy Link Lincolnshire village in droves. Uh, things got so bad. Some locals hired security. Lincolnshire was widely criticized for disclosing Nicola's struggling with alcohol and menopause two weeks into the search. The search lasted 23 days. So yeah, they have uh, taken that guy out of the equation.